You are about to watch a short film of Sonny before his operation. Sonny is a seven-year-old Norwich Terrier. He has had problems with his breathing for two or three years. During this period, we had a chest x-ray and a look down his throat to see what was wrong. We were told Sonny had a soft palate. It seems many dogs have this and it shouldn't cause too many problems. But Sonny's breathing did cause him problems. He would breathe very loudly, cough, grunt, choke, gag, and on occasions stand like a statue and look vacant. This was not a fit. I have since been told it is caused by oxygen starvation. He had very little energy. He would get excited about going for a walk, but once at the gate would stop and refuse to go any further. People would laugh when they saw me carry him over uneven ground. I now feel guilty I got frustrated with him because he wouldn't walk. However, if I took him onto the sandy beach, we live at the coast, he would trot along happily on the flat. Sonny's breathing deteriorated rapidly over a period of a month, as you have seen earlier. He was given medication for an infection. He got worse, not better. We were then referred to Dick White Referrals Specialist Veterinary Practice near Cambridge. They discovered that Sonny's larynx had collapsed into his trachea. He would not have lived much longer. Following an operation to stitch back half of Sonny's larynx, he still could not breathe. A semi-permanent tracheotomy was fitted and Sonny was sent home for two weeks. Following this period, he will return to have the other half of his larynx stitched back. Since his return home with the semi-permanent tracheotomy, Sonny's quality of life has improved enormously. He can breathe. He is perky. He willingly goes out for a short walk. He is a happy dog. It has not been difficult for caring for his tracheotomy but we are at home all day and are not squeamish about cleaning him out. We have to avoid Sonny getting near water or the sand. He is more susceptible to infections and of course we have to avoid foreign bodies entering the little tracheotomy hole such as flies and fleas. <coughs> this is Sonny sitting quite happily on my lap and as you can hear He's making no noise at all with his breathing. Okay, well, here's Sonny, and he's just going to have his little trachea cleaned out. I have to be very careful to avoid infection, so I have washed my hands. Come here, sweetie. I did the cotton bud in a little pot of water and I squeeze it out because he mustn't get any water in to his little hole. And then you just have to push it in 
and pull it out and you get all sorts of muck out of there. There's a little, actually it's very clean at the moment. He's a good boy. He's very good. And of course following any sort of throat surgery, Sonny won't be able to wear a collar at all. He will have to go out for a walk with with a, a harness. Hold oh, still, my sweet. You are a good boy. You are a special boy. Hold oh, still, darling. Good little fellow. I can't hurt him by digging it out. We actually call him Moby Dick now. With his puffing noises. There we go. Good boy. I have to do this, I suppose, about six times a day, as and when required. Um, but also, during that time, Sonny can sort of blow out of his little hole, which can cause a bit of mess around the house, but we just have to clear it up. Because he's our little dog, and we love him, and we're quite happy to do it, aren't we, sweet, aren't we? Hold still. There's a good boy. Once more, just one more. And then you can go out in the garden with the others. There we are. That's it. Okay, down you go. Here's Sonny. Sonny is just back off back to the hospital today to have the other side of his larynx stitched back and he'll probably be gone for about 10 days. The last time you saw Sonny, we were on our way to the vets at Cambridge to have further surgery. Nick, one of the vets who had been looking after Sonny, was so pleased with the way that Sonny was coping with his tracheotomy and with the way that we were managing it, he sent us home for a further month to enable all the swelling to go down and for Sonny to heal and regain his fitness. Sonny had his original operation on the 16th of February. Today is the 25th of March, so just over five weeks ago. You are going to see Sonny out for his walk we will be going onto the beach just opposite where we live. Sonny must not go near the soft sand and we are very lucky that the tide covers our beach twice a day, so allowing the sand to be firm. We have gradually built up Sonny's exercise and he walks every morning. A few times he has walked for two miles. I have to carry him over the shingle as he doesn't have the energy to walk. Even I find it difficult sometimes. This past few days, the weather has been really warm, so I tend to keep Sonny indoors during the day, in the shade and the cool, as he cannot pant like the other dogs, and so is unable to cool himself down.
returned to the veterinary hospital in early April 2012 for further assessment and possible treatment. There were three options to be considered. They were, one, to assess to see if the first operation had been successful now that the swelling had gone down and to stitch back the other side of his larynx. Two, if the first operation were not viable, to see if his semi-permanent tracheotomy should be made permanent. And three, to leave Sonny as he is with the, with the semi-permanent tracheotomy. Sonny stayed at the hospital for the day. Assessments and consultations with various specialists took place. Sadly, Sonny could not breathe without his tracheotomy, so further surgery to his larynx was not an option. And as he had done so well with the semi-permanent trachea, it was decided to keep this in place and to monitor the situation. Sonny is now back home and enjoying his life with his two Norwich Terrier friends, Skipper and Charlie. We realise that Sonny is still a very sick little dog and his tracheotomy has to be managed and cleaned at regular intervals. As you can see, it's healed very well and we now only have a discharge of mucus to sort out. His activity level does go up and down. It seems that on days when the weather is cooler and there is little wind, he has more energy. When the weather is hot, he is much slower. He does still like to go out for walks with the others, but he can get tired, so we've bought him a dog stroller so that he can walk until he's tired and then he has a ride, much to the amusement of our neighbours and the embarrassment of our doggy walking friends. Sonny's future is uncertain. We hope he will be with us for a long time. Every day is a bonus and we have to keep a balance between keeping Sonny safe in his environment and letting him do doggy things.